In northwestern Arabia, the recent discovery of ancient fortifications dating back 4,000 years has unveiled a remarkable find of immense proportions. Greetings and salutations to everyone. In today's video, we will be discussing an exciting discovery made by archaeologists from the CNRS and the Royal Commission for Alula. They have recently uncovered a remarkable fortification that surrounds the Kebar Oasis in the North Arabian Desert. This ancient structure, dating back to the 4th and 3rd millennia BCE, is one of the longest ever found. It is also worth noting that the Kebar Oasis is one of the largest oases in Saudi Arabia. This discovery has provided valuable insights into human habitation in northwestern Arabia during the pre-Islamic era, offering a deeper understanding of the region's social complexity. The fortification itself is believed to have been built between 2250 and 1950 BCE, raising intriguing questions about its purpose and the communities responsible for its construction. Without any further delay, let us now dive into our discussion. In the 4th and 3rd millennia BCE, sedentary communities resided in the oases of the North Arabian Desert. Recently, a team of scientists from the CNRS and the Royal Commission for Alula RCU, uncovered a fortification that encloses the Kebar Oasis, which is one of the longest standing structures from that time period. This newly discovered walled oasis, together with the Tema Oasis, represents the two largest oases in Saudi Arabia. Although several walled oases from the Bronze Age had been previously documented, this significant finding sheds fresh insight on the human presence in northwestern Arabia and enhances our understanding of the intricacies of local society during the pre-Islamic era. By combining data from field surveys, remote sensing and architectural studies, the team was able to approximate the original measurements of the fortifications. They determined that the length stretched for 14.5 kilometers, with a thickness ranging from 1.70 to 2.40 meters, and a height of approximately 5 meters. Presently, only a fraction of the original structure remains intact, accounting for 41% of its initial length, 5.9 kilometers, and featuring 74 bastions. This colossal structure encompassed a vast rural area spanning nearly 1,100 hectares. Through radiocarbon dating of excavated samples, the construction of the fortification is believed to have taken place between 2250 and 1950 BCE. The study not only confirms the affiliation of the Kebar Oasis with a network of walled oases in northwestern Arabia, but also prompts inquiries about the purpose behind its construction and the dynamics between the builders and the populations beyond the oasis. The forthcoming publication of the archaeological findings in the Journal of Archaeological Science reports JASREP on the 10th of January will open up new avenues for gaining a deeper understanding of the ancient history of the northwestern Arabian Peninsula, encompassing the prehistoric, pre-Islamic and Islamic eras. Notes the collaboration between the Orient and Mediterranean Laboratory, CNRS, Collège de France, slash EFPSL, slash Sorbonne Université, Université Pantheon Sorbonne, and the Archeorient, Environments and Societies of the Ancient East Laboratory, CNRS, Université Lumière Lyon II, was established in conjunction with the Kebar Longe Dure Archaeological Project, which was commissioned by the French Agency for Alula Development, AFALULA, on behalf of the Royal Commission for Alula RCU. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.